Hey guys, uh, yeah. It is uh, day in, uh, uh, nine of uh, three degree zone and uh, down here in southern Ontario and <laughs> yep. So for the last few days, uh, we had like a uh, coronavirus cases that. Uh, with the exception of uh, January first, uh, which we had, uh, we had two thousand four hundred and seventy-six. So that was below. So and for the most of the other day, so uh, we had like cases of uh, in the uh, three hundred three thousands, and we didn't really like that because they, things were really getting worse, and like we, we were stuff was going to get more strict and strict and strict. Well, luckily today's case is at uh, 2,964, so we're down uh, in the 2000s again. But tomorrow we might be in the 3000s again. Who knows? So 786 cases is from Toronto, the Peter Region Trump the yesterday, then Toronto the day before. So and uh, 346 is from Peel Region, 308 is from York Region, 197 from some Durham Region, 187 is from Windsor Essex Region. So, Twenty-five uh, deaths were announced today. Reported. So, as you know, I'm gonna say the fines are in effect. So, like, there's nothing else. I don't know. And it's a. So, no travel, like, internationally, like, unless if it's essential, and yeah, however. However, it has just been released uh, that uh, couple of the. So I have a you know, looking at it right now. So uh, a couple more politicians uh, and uh, Canada have a bit of minute to like uh, So there's a couple of politicians in uh, Alberta. They uh, took uh, trips uh, over the holidays, and oh god, this is just embarrassing. Uh, no one around. Yeah.
Also in Saskatchewan. Oh god. So there's also like a couple uh yeah. in Alberta so uh So already, you know, like Rod Phillips, uh, he uh, resigned as the Ontario's finance minister because uh, he was a car going to. Take a vacation trip to the tropics and he got caught. He shamed on. So also Alberta. So. So. Uh, Tracy Allard and uh, Jason St Stephan, and uh, Pat Wren and T Tanya Fur and Jeremy Nixon uh, of Alberta. They uh, they really no. So. I was also like kind of taking a vacay. In Saskatchewan, so Joe ha Hargrave, Hargrave uh, dude went to Cali, California state. And Quebec, uh, Pierre uh, Arancard, uh, he went to Barbados. Oh, God. And also CQ uh, MNA uh, Yuri Chasson. Uh, he was visiting the, his husband in Peru. Uh oh. That was not essential, so. And also NDP uh, Nikki Ashton. So she uh, tra traveled to Greece to visit a sick relative. Okay. And uh, is that essential? Uh, I don't know. So there's just something called rules for thee, but not for yours for thee, but not for me, not for me. Yeah. So there are a lot of like people who like uh are you know. People, they, us people have to follow the, these rules, these coronavirus safety rules, but these people, they, they can just break these rules? Really? Not cool. Justin Trudeau has uh, also been known to do, do this uh, for, or so. And, it's, and if it's not disappointed, uh, disappointing enough, uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and Quebec all have uh, had an uh, increasing uh, number of coronavirus cases. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. that. Back. So, the fines are in effect right now. So, you know, no social gatherings with anyone outside your household. No social gatherings over 10. Limitations on some businesses that we know that some some people the uh, limited number of people inside at a time some closures some restaurants bars and only doing takeout delivering drive through services you can uh, use the DoorDash app no large gathering host space ten one thousand every other person who showed up pays seven hundred fifty each. Possible fine of about a hundred thousand dollars in penalties, and one done one year in jail. And if a corporation busts this rule, ten million. So Ontario, yeah, yeah, we have to follow this rule. Uh,
So like dining and driving schools and the casino down you know, gambling cinemas immediately the hotel the motel uh, not available museums and zoos personal care services nightclubs and strip clubs are only uh, providing uh, food and uh, drink and uh, takeout I'm not too sure how delivery works but yeah that's gonna be weird. Gatherings of any kind that is not essential is not allowed. So limit of ten people. Uh, exceptions are like limit of ten people on the television set. No live audience. Makeup and hair staff require protective equipment. Post production is permitted. Rehearsal well, and performances are allowed. So uh, if you play a brass or a wind instrument, spec you get the special barrier. So short term rentals are allowed at hotels, real estate and car dealerships are open on appointment, supermarkets, convenience stores and pharmacies are open at 50% cap capacity at a time, while discounted big box stores are 25% cap at a time. So construction, that will still be going on, household services. Still be running health services that's available. Virtual and drive-in events are allowed. Outdoor market markets uh, can remain open, like garden garden centers. So indoor garden centers, uh, they can have like a couple of people inside at a time, or curbside pickup. Although that's going to be kind of weird. So curbside pick, curbside pickup and delivery is uh, that cannabis stores, retail, libraries, hardware stores, department stores. Y'all can do that. Interpersonal shopping is not allowed. Special parking spots are at malls for pickup. So schools are open on January 11th. And Jen elementary schools, January 25th. High schools, takeout, drive through and delivery services for restaurants, bars, and cafes will be available. Gray zone rules are still in effect, you know, for Toronto, Peel Region, York Region, Windsor, Essex Region, and Hamilton until their designated dates. Toronto and Peel Region, uh, their uh, special, yeah, uh, specified uh, date ends tomorrow, and they will follow the reg regular Gray zone rules. Other zones will follow soon. Once there's ends too. Now hospitalizations. Okay. We have a uh, 998 people hospitalized with the virus. Okay. 329 uh, patients in ICU. And 228 uh, patients are uh, ventilator, but a lot of hospitals have been reporting of uh, that it, 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 having issues uh, with uh, with a lot of, a lot of like coronavirus patients. Uh, Coming in, and uh, they need to do like a uh, other stuff like a uh, heart transplant, uh, MRI, and like uh, cancer like treatments, and a uh, whole bunch of other stuff. Like I can't name them all, but there's so many things that they can that need to be done at a hospital, and how the majority of these is the coronavirus patients, and yeah, that's this is why uh, we're really having a lot of trouble right now. Long-term care homes, uh, two two thousand seven hundred 
and we have uh, 207 outbreaks in long-term care homes. Also, the care cases are going higher in uh, long-term care homes. Uh, it's tough. So it is just, you know, just disappointing, like, uh, so, like, and I'm glad that these people are, like, uh, they have been named, shamed, and even, like, kicked, kicked off of, of their rough roles because they, uh, like, weren't forced to make, like, follow these, uh, rules, but they chose they're like, oh, we don't have to follow these rules out. Oh, and then they think their their lives are more important than ours. And also, it's uh, very uh, dangerous right now. Like, if you that if you travel, you only travel for essential reasons. And even if you like come back, you need to get your, you know, quarantine yourself. The three days before, prior, you need to get vaccinated. Test results must be negative. If you are if you test positive, you cannot go. So only like for essential reason like So I am glad that these uh, politicians have been named, shamed, kicked off their jobs. Because coronavirus cases are really going in, like going through the roof right now, and like, oh no 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 no, I don't want that. And neither neither do you. And uh, we can. Uh, and there's always that term uh, we can uh, use to like uh, call people uh, COVID idiots uh, for not cho choosing not to follow coronavirus uh, safety rules and regulations. So, please, 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 babe, and follow coronavirus safety rules. Don't have any social gatherings with others. Use those social media contact others. Don't do any activities with other people. Only go on essential travel. Don't go on any trips. We will name and shame you. Stay out of areas where coronavirus can, can be high and avoid going to places if you're in a high case area. I'll be clear right now. So stay safe, folks. Uh, let's try and work, work, like, and like, and like, and it de decrease the coronavirus uh, case numbers. And maybe we'll like, we don't want have to follow and have to have a, or even have to deal with the coronavirus then next year. <sighs> Stay safe.